Hey guys, this is Nick Bratton with Bratton Sports Performance. Today I'm going to take you through a med ball slam and a med ball side slam. When we go through these movements, one of the things that I emphasize with our athletes is we really want to focus on engaging the core and we only want to move through the range of motion that our body allows. So I'll talk about that here in a second. So as we go through this medicine ball slam, our goal is to drive the ball down as hard as we can. It works a little bit like an anti-flexion uh, exercise. So as we go through this, I'm thinking about keeping my core tight, driving the ball straight down into the ground. I don't want to allow that momentum to drive my shoulders back or allow it to pull me forward too far. I want to try and stay upright the entire time. Now, here's where the range of motion comes into play. When we come up overhead for either movement, we do not want the low back to arch. We want to make sure we stay up nice and tall, that we keep our spine nice and flat. So I'm going to go through a regular med ball slam first. So starting straight up over my head, using my core to drive my shoulders down. So as I go through that again, core nice and tight as I go into the slam. Next, I'm going to go through our side slams. So as we go through the side slam, I want to start with the ball in front of one shoulder. I'm going to come up overhead and slam on the other side. Again, using the core in order to bring the shoulders down toward that slam point. So I start here, come up overhead. Again, as we're going through that, really focusing on the core, not necessarily just how high we can reach, but going into that slam. 